Hello everyone, I'm Adam with Demiplane. Thank you for joining me for this week's development update and community Q&A session. We're gonna jump right in. As always, we are going to be looking at our latest updates, anything you might have missed, what we're currently working on, and then what is on deck next. We've got uh, some uh, release notes. Uh, there should be a release going out today. Uh, you know, Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Um, there, there should be. A release going out today. We'll we'll look at those notes. Uh, we're also giving away two Candela Obscura core rule books today. We have our uh, this is the week I think for the finale of the uh, you know current installment that is going on. So to celebrate that, we're going to give away two Candela Obscura core rule books. And as always, you can ask questions all along the way. All you have to do is type the word question and then follow that by the question itself and our magical demi bot will collect them all and i will get to as many as i have time for at the end of the stream all right jumping in pathfinder nexus uh we have uh, those additional characters tools uh performance improvements that we're working on code name tomato um that is uh still ongoing i uh, should see some uh uh, even more drastic improvements uh, when we get this out into the wild and we are making really solid progress there. Companions and familiars aren't going to quite be this week. Uh, the team member that is the primary on this is actually doing some travel this week. And so this one's going to be delayed a few more days. But um, I, uh, I, I think we're going to see companions and familiars uh, definitely pretty soon here. Uh, we're starting to put some of the finishing touches on that and then we will be moving on to some of the other um you know elements on uh that are on that short-term roadmap that we've talked about so uh you know formulas for uh alchemy and so on so uh so making really good progress there and we'll uh we'll get to that pretty soon uh part of this release the microservice serverless uh, image optimization for reader um, and compendium and across the rest of the site components are part of that uh, release that's going out today. Um, we've got image optimization that is still happening for character tools. Uh, we've just got uh, you know some different ways that those images are being delivered. So we're going to apply this that we're seeing is working for the reader and compendium into the character tools, and that's kind of the next step. We're working on homebrew, uh, kind of at the early stages there but so far so good. And then we're also starting to conceptualize something that I know many of you have been asking for, and that is, uh, we'll, we'll say individual component purchases. Uh, there's not an incredibly easy way uh, to, to you know, call this thing by uh, just a single word, but uh, essentially what we're talking about is if you're on Pathfinder Nexus and you want a specific feat for your character, you could, purchase that feat by itself. If uh, you didn't want to purchase the entire rule book in order to get a particular class that you really wanted to play, you could purchase that class and get what you wanted, um, you know, at a lower price point uh, and, and kind of, uh, you know, making that a lower barrier of entry. So that is something that we're starting to look at now. It's been on the roadmap all along. Uh, but uh, we're kind of coming to that point where we're going to start taking a look at that. So we'll provide updates as we have them. On Alien, uh, we are putting, I, th I think we put the final touches on building better worlds last night, in fact. Um, and uh, we are getting that off to the final review with our partners at Free League. And uh, that and Chariot of the Gods should be coming uh, very soon, as soon as that review is completed. We're also working on Heart of Darkness. Uh, we, as I've said before, we are going to be getting everything in the Alien catalog ready to go by the last thing on the list here, which is the character builder and digital character sheet. So uh, that is what we are, uh, that's, the, that's the new game that we're currently working on. And as that gets ready, we're gonna have the entire catalog of that game available and ready for that too. So let's jump into some release notes. Again, this should be incoming today. Um, you know, so sometimes uh, we, we catch something in the final QA that, that delays that, but it should be coming today. On the builder side, I'm not gonna read all of these, uh, but, uh, but you can see that we are resolving some of the issues that have been reported. 
Um, as always, we appreciate those reports. Uh, helps us uh, really uh, kind of whittle things down, especially when it comes to a game like Pathfinder that is just so vast and, uh, and covers so much ground. Um, these are uh, things that we have put in place on the builder side for the sheet. Uh, you can see similarly, we have some, uh, you know, additions for convenience uh, where, uh, you know, the Anadi and the Kitsune uh, change shape actions. Uh, we're not showing up. We've got that. Uh, so those are the kinds of fixes that we can see. But a couple of things I want to call out here is that you can now remove uh, as, as of the update when that goes live. Can you hear me, Josh? <laughs> I might be back. Um, so uh, we have uh, we have some uh, we have a new uh, house member living with us. Um, you know, uh, at the moment, uh, so, so someone needed some help. We're helping them out, and um, this individual uh, plays a lot of video games, like my two sons do, and so. I hypothesize that they have now, you know, finally at 11 o'clock a.m., have crawled out of the bed and jumped on to their, um, you know, video game. Yeah, so I don't know how much you heard of that, but I think video games. So I am, uh, you know, going to have to send uh, naughty text messages to uh, to to these, um, you know, almost adult children to tell them uh, to to quit it um, while I am on the stream today. So apologize for that, but um, I hope that you heard that you are now going to be able to remove containers uh, from the character sheet. And we've done some adjustments to bulk calculations uh, for some fixes there. And then finally on, uh, you know, the last page of the updates here, uh, you can see what's going on. I love that Gord Leshies now have their own storage container uh, to represent, uh, you know, what's going on with that innate storage. And of course we have the question, what do you keep in your Gord? Uh, you've heard of junk in the trunk, but this is sword in the gourd um, or, you know, whatever else you are putting in your gourd. So um, all of these fixes are going to be going out with the release again that is targeted for today, but we will keep everyone posted there. All right. Uh, we've got a new episode of Children of Erte tonight as well. Uh, if you have not uh, been with us in a while, uh, this uh, genuinely is a, a pretty good jumping on point. Uh, we're, we're kind of in a, in a uh, you know, in video game parlance, we are in a new zone um, and some exploration is going to be going on, um, I think, tonight. So, uh, so that's going to be coming tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific. And it is time for the giveaway. We're giving away two Candela Obscura core rule books. Good luck to everyone out there. And uh, I hope you all win. Only two of you will, but I hope you all do. All right. Um, I've only got a couple of questions here, which is uh, understandable. I don't know if I got interrupted on that or not, but um, we will start getting uh, moving into questions now. So if you have any questions, feel free. Oh, I saw a couple more pop in there. So if you got uh, questions, uh, feel free to, uh, to jump in and start asking those now. And when I'm done here, we will uh, we will close out and uh, I'll get back to work. 
Marshall Marshes, what name do you think is best for Demi Plains users? Uh, example, Demi Planers, Demi, Demi Planeers. Um, yeah, I think Demi Planers is what we use typically when I've seen us send uh, you know emails uh, to our um, to our user base. So I, I think I'm going with Demi Planers here. Um, I think that that uh, I think that that works perfectly well. I, uh, you know, love the, um, I love the prefix Demi already, um, because, you know, Demi gods, Demi planes, uh, you know, Demi more, um, you know, uh, it, 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 it's all great. So, uh, Demi planers, I think is what I would go with there. Uh, certainly a great question. Keep them coming. Uh, trade uh, sorry, probably butchered that one. Will Werewolf be on deck after Hunter is uh, complete? Is there any targeted time frame uh, for that to release? We don't have a time frame, uh, but uh, we certainly uh, love Werewolf, and Werewolf is on our list. And um, I expect, uh, I'm trying to think that through. I expect Hunter will come before it, uh, but it also wouldn't surprise me if we worked on them in parallel. But, um, but we don't quite have a time frame for that. Um, I would expect to see work on Hunter at least, um, you know, happen this year. Um, and, um, and I personally would love to see that for Werewolf too, uh, but we'll, we'll kind of have to see how everything shakes out. But it is, it is you know, on the, the short, uh, short-term list. And again, depending on what you would, uh, you know, put on that, um, it's, uh, it, it's certainly in the next 10 games that we will do is what I'll say. Um, and I would have to go back and look at the list, but I think it's probably in the next five. Um, but uh, but again, I don't have that in front of me at the moment. Uh, but uh, but it's not going to be too much further uh, further away. Neurolancer uh, has the development of alchemical formula and crafting coming along. Um, it's not coming along at all yet because we haven't started development on that. Um, as I said a little earlier, it is on the list, and I believe. Uh, that uh, formulas will be next after we wrap up companions and familiars. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm not too concerned about uh, that taking a long time, but it's just something that we haven't gotten to yet uh, as we're wrapping up with animal uh, companions and familiars and pets too. I, I don't want to uh, leave out pets since those are a new option in the remaster. Subordinate, uh, are there plans to allow spell and other effects beyond conditions to be applied to a character sheet in order to handle modifiers slash roles? Uh, so this is something we call temporary effects. Um, typically what you're going to see reflected on your character when you have certain modifiers in place, you know, that you've got a piece of armor that gives you, you know, plus two to your strength. Uh, modifier that is, um, you know, or, or your, uh, you know, attribute modifier there, that is going to be something that is, you know, more permanent because you're wearing the armor. So those things are represented at the moment, but we do fully intend to move to temporary modifiers in the future. Not exactly sure where that is going to fall, but it is something that is going to come uh, and something that, uh, you know, unlike in my past life, when, um, you know, uh, w working on another digital tool set, adding temporary effects like this was actually uh, quite the undertaking. Um, it, you know, lots of refactoring was needed, um, and it's one of the reasons it, it never happened. Um, we are fully set up for temporary effects to be viable and possible with what we have uh, going on. We've just drawn the line in front of temporary effects at the moment. Uh, to help us, uh, you know, reduce and manage the scope of what we're trying to uh, accomplish, especially with a game like Pathfinder, since there is so much ground to cover. But uh, we are fully prepped and ready for those to work, um, and it is something that we will be moving into. It wouldn't surprise me if we saw that uh, in, in 24. Marshall Marshes, uh, can you give any hints on the redacted? No, no, no hints, I'm afraid. That is uh, that uh, very much so eliminates the uh, you know usefulness of the redacted term. So don't mean to be a tease on that, but uh, we have some you know other games that we're excited 
to share with you as we uh, progress through this year. Cassius 335, vaguely speaking, how are the redacteds coming along? Uh, so, so again, we've got a small team. Uh, we've got a very small team and uh, we have, we have a big backlog of games and uh, you know, what I call often when I'm uh, speaking about it, even to partners is we've got a really full dance card. Um, and uh, you know, we, we love dancing, but there's, there's only a few of us that um, on, on the team that are here uh, where we can do that dancing. And so uh, we are typically not focused on something that is, uh, you know, the next couple of places down the roadmap uh, in parallel with something that we're currently working on because we just literally don't have the people to do that. And so um, we are currently working on Alien. We're working on some of the uh, Pathfinder short-term items, and we're working on things like Homebrew. We're starting to kick the tires of uh, exporting uh, for PDFs, um, uh, for character sheets. Those are the kind of things that uh, currently that small team are focused on. And as we complete Alien, um, as we uh, complete, you know, some of the Pathfinder items and, and start to move on to other things, that is when we will start digging into some of the Redacteds um, and uh, we will, you know, make rapid progress on those things when that time comes. The only thing that happens earlier in that process that we have done for some of the Redacteds uh, would be some of the, uh, you know, design effort, uh, the the concept phase work that would go on. Um, you know, how is that nexus going to look? How are, uh, you know, is this uh, character builder or character sheet going to look? So there is work that has been completed for, um, you know, uh, mo most of the redacteds at this point at that design phase at that level. Um, but the development part will come when we actually complete the things that are on our plate now and move to the next thing on the list. All right. Looks like I've got one more question here. If you've got any others while I'm answering this, feel free uh, to slide those in. Uh, otherwise, I am going to bid you adieu. Um, Gardak Ironhorn, where is the 5e nexus in the timeline? Um, as I discussed last week, we uh, homebrew is a vital prerequisite for 5e viability for us. And so... Uh, we are currently working on homebrew and making sure that uh, you know everything is good to go uh, with homebrew, that it is uh, there uh, and, and ready um, and, and available for 5e, because we understand that when it comes to 5e, that what is available through the SRD is not the complete picture. People will want other things. They will want easy ways to pull other things into that. And so uh, homebrew is, um, uh, you know, a foundational prerequisite for that. So we are currently working on uh, the homebrew piece of that. And as homebrew is coming together um, and not even necessarily uh, completely out and released, but as homebrew gets a little further down the road, 5e development will work. So 5e um, is something that is likely to come, uh, you know, kind of in the next wave of what we're looking at. You know, after Alien, after some of the Pathfinder work uh, that is currently going on, especially after Homebrew gets down the road. Uh, and as far as the timeline, uh, it's uh, it's whenever we can get to it. Uh, we're, we're working as fast as we can on that list. Uh, Gardak Ironhorn is 5e Nexus going to be uh, third-party content only. Um, based on what I was just talking about with Homebrew, um, you can do whatever you want to with Homebrew. So, uh, you know, wh whatever first party content that, uh, that you want to include, you, uh, th that would be able to be included through the homebrew system. Um, but uh, as far as what will be available to unlock and use, uh, you know, purchase in Demiplane, uh, it is going to be third party content. Uh, we have uh, Kobo Press's Tales of the Valiant on the way. Uh, we have uh, content from Ghostfire Gaming. Uh, that is coming in. There are a variety of others that are on our list that we will start revealing and moving on to as soon as the 5e Nexus character tools uh, start to come together. So um, it's going to be um, 
third party, but it should uh, include a lot of your third party favorites uh, uh, when we get to that point in the process. All right, I think that is all for the questions. I appreciate everyone joining me today. Uh, looking forward to uh, you know the next time that we get together, which will not be next week. I am uh, out traveling on vacation um, all week, so I will not be with you next time. But the week after that, we should have some juicy updates uh, that I am looking forward to delivering to you. I hope everybody has a wonderful week out there, wonderful couple of weeks until I see you again. Um, you know, I'm seeing you in my mind's eye right now um, until I'm back with you. Um, but, I, but I hope you have a wonderful one. Uh, don't forget to join us tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific for the next episode of Children of Erte, and I will see you in two weeks. Later, Gators.